Welcome to Chewing the Cut with Mike Benyon Rowe and Narcissa Nightshade. And it wasn't until we were part way through that I realised I'd eaten sweet corn and we all know that. Oh, hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. This week I'm joined by Narcissa Nightshade. Welcome. Hi, lovely to be here. Nice of you to lie. I know, I know, I know. It's, 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 well, I, you know, I could have been a million other places, but... Like in bed. Yeah, I know, but, you know, my, my community service officer said I had to be here, so here I am. That's how we get a lot of people on. I know. <laughs> well done, you. I know, yeah. That's what happens when you ram raid a bargain, booze. But what have you got for us in the showbiz this week? Well, let me tell you. So this week, I am bringing a story about a personal trainer's new body image. Gonna see abs and teen. Um, but on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Could.TV is our website. And on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have reached out and touched our souls go along the bottom of the screen, we go to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> He probably won't be old enough to remember this, the Sony Walkman. Oh, wow. Thank you for noticing. I've just <laughs> had my Botox touched up. Right. But yes, I do remember the Sony Walkman. Really? Just about. OK, um, are you sure it was released 40 years ago? OK, no, I don't no, know that. No. <laughs> no, I don't remember it at the beginning, but I've heard of them. You've heard of seen I them in a museum. Them. Right. Yeah, that must okay, be way of seeing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, Sony have just released a new version of the Walkman. Oh, for yes. Not on a cassette, because yeah. anyone that knows what a cassette is, Google it, because I'm too old. Um, but an MP3 version. Oh, it's a couple of inches big. It's three and a half inches big. Three and a half inches. Which if... You, you won't get much fun out of that. You won't, but if, if grinders to believe, that's technically eight inches. Um, but yeah, the, it's completely Wi-Fi enabled. Mm -hmm. So you can download your songs off like Spotify, yeah. and YouTube, and all that sort of gubbins. Basically, it's a new iPod. OK. But by Sony, so right. it's Android-based. Um, and it's it's going to be 350 quid. 350 quid. For something well, that's already on my phone. Well, exactly. I mean, it's, it's, it's a useless luxury item, isn't it, ultimately? I mean, 350 quid. But then again, a lot of people will do a lot of wrong things with 350 quid come this weekend, so... Really? I, no comment from me. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So, yeah, it looks very slim. It's not as chunky as the old one, so it's thin and small. No, no, I'm not into thin and small, not in any capacity, I'm afraid. No, <laughs> no. I, I don't think I'll be purchasing one, to be honest. No, I don't think I will either, because mainly because I'm an iPhone person. Yeah, see, ah, see, I'm not even an iPhone person. No, I, I, I convert it to Google Phone. Oh, OK. Mm. Is that working out for you? It works. That's all that matters. Exactly. It's all that Lovely matters. camera. But for those intimate pictures. Or... For the intimate pictures, exactly. And any time you want a selfie. Um, but moving on, have you heard about a gangbang at McDonald's? A gangbang at McDonald's? Mm -hmm. um, well, I wasn't there for it. But... Okay, it's food. It's food related. Right. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's that. So um, the gangbang at McDonald's is basically it's a Big Mac okay. with a McChicken sandwich in it. Okay. Okay. Um, but they've brought out a new thing called the Air Land and Sea Burger. Right. Which okay. is where you buy a Big Mac. Yep. And you put a fillet of fish in it. Right. And a McChicken sandwich in it as well. And eat it as one burger. That sounds dry. It's that very... Well, it look, I mean, it looks dry. It looks dry. There's a lot of meat, a lot of protein. There's a lot of protein in there. And I can't get my mouth around a Big Mac as it is. Oh, you're not just not trying hard enough. You just have to unhinge your jaw. Ah, right, OK. It works for so many different <laughs> things. I'll show you later. <laughs> OK. Um, so I just have to pretend it's a <laughs> really, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. If you think about yourself like a very hungry snake and just... <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I've been referred to as a hungry snake rather than a yawning hippo. But um, it's 2,000 calories. 2,000 calories. That's actually a full intake of calories for the day. Well, I mean, I suppose, like, if you were a hungry snake, mm -hmm. that's all you'd eat for a week anyway, so... You'd eat a mouse. Mm. Yeah, well, it depends how big a snake you are. OK. So you might have a <laughs> rabbit, you might have a deer. A deer? It's a massive <laughs> snake. <laughs> I mean, so, honestly, I have seen... I don't know why we're getting off, off McDonald's that's and okay. onto we snakes. That's OK, we can talk about But let snake. me tell you about... <laughs> 
Have you ever seen the snake that ate a crocodile and it exploded? <laughs> no, but why is that funny? <laughs> Honestly, you can just see half this crocodile sticking out the side of the snake because it's literally exploded and it's just... Is this Googleable? Yeah, it's totally Googleable. I think, I don't know if it was an anaconda or not, but if you just put snake explodes crocodile, you'll find it. It is actually there. Okay, choices. Yeah. It made a choice. It made a choice. It was the wrong choice, <laughs> which is probably how I feel about the land, air and sea burger. Yeah, so. there's the things that you can do and probably shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, I probably feel the same way about I that. I think some things, you know, are made that way specifically to be enjoyed exactly as they are. Okay. So Big Mac, chicken sandwich, fillet of fish. Fillet of fish. Although I was a vegetarian for a long time, but I fell off the wagon recently. It was actually Selfridges that got me. Oh. Um... Mm. I see. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, I was at a function at Selfridges where they gave me lots of booze. And apparently food was there as well, um, which is where Nassis was, was performing and hosting. I was. Yes. But if you want to <laughs> interact with us on social media, you can do. It's at the Could TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. How much sex would you say is too much sex? Um, how much sex is too much sex? I mean... There definitely is such a thing as too much mm -hmm. sex. I know that's a controversial thing to say in this day and age. But, I mean, like, I mean, for me, mm -hmm. if we're talking story of the week, I mean, if we're looking back at last year, do you remember the 75 loads on Twitter? Yes. And then somebody decided to go one up on that, and I think it was like 101. Mm -hmm. I was like, even at 75, that's quite a lot. I'm not slut shaming anybody. Yeah, no. You know, enjoy your body as you want to enjoy it. But that's definitely too much sex. <laughs> when when it looks like a soap dispenser, <laughs> that's too much sex. It's yeah, it's one of those. There'd be a, a, I'd be scared to sneeze. Yeah, I ever definitely again. wouldn't want to sneeze or yawn actually. No. Um, well, this is a, a story about a sex mad tortoise. Okay. Okay who has saved the species from extinction by having over 800 children. OK, well, that's fab, isn't it? Which is, you know, it's a great excuse for having lots of sex. He, he's not a very pretty tortoise. No. Which tells me if, if history's got anything to teach me, is me must have a massive Because <laughs> that, that tends to be the correlation. I often find that. Yeah, ugly gingers, massive penises. But, yeah, he's... he's um. I'm sorry, I'm just... It's fine. <laughs> I I'm, 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 I'm going down his memory neck, lane. His neck looks a little bit familiar. It does, yeah. <laughs> Very veiny, with a big head. Yeah. Although I think if it was that veiny, it would put me off. Uh, I'd have a go. Um, but, yeah, it's a San Diego Zoo in California. Uh, he's been there for 50 years. Yeah. And then he moved to Cruise Island. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How apt. Yes. Um, it's, um, yeah, he's been to Cruise Island. That's where he's having lots of sex. I think his grinder profile would say, looking, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, just a pair of eyes and question mark. Yeah. Yeah. Question mark, water droplet. 100%. Um, yeah, he's 103. 103 and still at it. And still at it, like a randy old goat. Uh, yeah, I know. I say good, for, good on him. Yeah. That's all you... I mean, 103 years old, you're a mm -hmm. scaly reptile in a heavy shell. Yep. What else is there to do? Well, I don't think there is much. There's not much else you can do, is there? No. Nope. And you've got to admire the fact as well that they are quite slow. So the fact that he's taking the time <laughs> and energy in his winter years to chase... I say chase very slowly <laughs> after Law the people females. with a bit of lettuce. I know. Yeah. Um, he was on the island with 14 other male tortoises as well. So he had some stiff competition. <laughs> 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 and, and basically, the, the saying that, look, he's had so many babies now that they're going to be able to release them back into the wild. OK, which great. Is great. Um, he's still on the island and is still shagging. Um, June 2020 was the first incident, I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. um, and so in the past three years, two and a half years, he's had 800 kids. 800 kids. I dread to think what the child support would look like on that. <laughs> I was like, that explains why he works, moves so slowly. Mm -hmm. Very tired. Very tired. Very tired. But that's all from The Buzz this week. Thanks for that, Mike. 
You know, the last time I slept with a 102-year-old, his stepchildren weren't very happy, mostly because I got the inheritance. <laughs> last time I slept with 100, and now I'm not going to go into that point. But it's a pleasure as always. But next we have Narcissa and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Narcissa and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Narcissa. Well, I wanted to talk about a bit of an icon. Britney. Not Britney, no. Christina. No. Carol Cole. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. She was a national treasure in 2009. I think even then we were being a little bit poetic with that. <laughs> yeah, generous. So, yeah, no. No. <laughs> right, we, no, we're actually going to go a bit further back. We're talking about Madonna today. Oh, her madge. Her madge. Now, according to the Metro and probably many other news outlets, Madonna has wiped her entire Instagram feed amid oh. rumours of a huge 40th anniversary celebration. All those rumours have been confirmed true now, haven't they? They have all been confirmed yeah. to be true. Just... She didn't really wait that long, did no, she? she? <laughs> no. I'm 40th. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch the videos? No. Where it was, like, her sat around the table with a load of other celebrities and, like, Amy Schumer playing Truth or Dare. Was it a choice? I mean, it was a choice. It's, like, her having, like, this whole dialogue with, like, Amy Schumer and she's, like, dare bitch. And then she's like, I dare you to go and like do a four, like a 40th anniversary tour. And then that's, that was it. Uh, okay. I thought it was weird. Now she is very avant-garde and I love avant-garde because it is Couture Week in Paris. Okay. But um, generally, you know what? With Madonna, mm -hmm. I love Madonna. And I've got a fun story about Madonna, but we won't okay. talk about that okay. right now. We can do that for the outtakes, but. I need to know the Madonna story. Oh, OK, I'll tell it. Yeah. <laughs> right, so... I mm -hmm. kind of... Um, mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Felched. No. no OK. <laughs> so I, a good story. I once hustled. OK. Um, because, as you know, doing a bit of drag, sometimes we're asked to do celebrities. Mm -hmm. And some of my friends approached me and said, oh... Um, can you do Madonna? And I was okay. like, OK, why? And they were <laughs> like, well, our friend's getting married. And as a gift to her husband, mm -hmm. he's obsessed with Madonna. And so, as a surprise, okay. what we would like is a Madonna impersonator. And so I met with the bride and she was like, so are you a Madonna impersonator? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I've done it for a really long time. We're going to have a really good time. I'm like, but I only like to do the 80s. But that's how you sell it. Yeah. That's how you sell it. <laughs> Go down the route of the period in which they love the most. Yeah, 100%. That's how you make a few quid. <laughs> so, yeah, I once hustled and pretended to be Madonna for a wedding. Well done. It was great. Did, 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 did they like it? Oh, they loved it. That's all that it was amazing. Good. It was very good. Apart from they started putting, like, toddlers on the stage to dance when I was... Oh. Yeah. Heterosexuals, what can you do? Children shouldn't be at weddings. It's controversial, but it's true. No, there's no room for children at weddings. Absolutely none. Well, yeah. um, so yes. she's, she's doing a concert. Yes, she is. She's doing a gig. And apparently she's going to make it through all four decades. All right, OK. I know. I mean, <laughs> like, we all know if the rumours are to be believed, and I know that they are because a few of my friends went, and she's always very, very late. Mm -hmm. Very, very late. So I have to wonder, will she even make it through the first decade? Maybe she's planning to start really early, like two in the afternoon. Possibly. Yeah, and, and plus she's getting on a bit. She'll need a rest. She might need a rest. Bit of a nap. I mean, if, look at her now. There she is, about to deep throat a microphone. Do you know what, though? Like, even now, I know she's going through this phase with the grills, mm -hmm. the... Well, I can't. I don't know. Can I say lots of plastic surgery? Uh, well, she's never confirmed that she she's has, never confirmed but it. But that face is ever changing, exactly my darling. That, that's uh, that not bomb new, is yeah. looking. You know, and you know what? Good for her yeah, because for her. I absolutely endorse all of the above. But I just think I don't know. 
I don't know where we're up to now with Madonna. I just feel like, what are we going to get with this show? Mm -hmm. Like, is it like, is it going to be? It's definitely going to be like very. I think there's going to be a lot of innovation. I think it's going to be very, very cool. Mm -hmm. But what I really want to talk about is the prices. Mm -hmm. It's not cheap. It really isn't. I don't know. I mean, I know this is a general thing with big artists now is that the prices are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But like some of these tickets are like I think the standard ones were three hundred and fifty pounds just yeah. to stand at the back. Mm -hmm. Just buy her album. Just you know what, Madge, I love you, but unless you're giving me comps, I'm not coming. Maybe I'll catch it on DVD. I don't know. Do people still watch those? <laughs> Maybe she'll do it as a Netflix special. Rather if you than could DVD. do it as a Netflix special. <laughs> well, they're now stopping us sharing passwords, and I don't pay for Netflix. So, oh, OK. Unfortunately, I may, uh, Madge, unless you send it me uh, via email, I can't tune YouTube? in. I'm sorry. She could do it on YouTube. Once it's ripped on YouTube, then I'll watch it. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. So I think that's enough about Madonna. Mm -hmm. I love Madonna. I think she's great, but... I want to talk about somebody else now. Let's talk Britain's Got Talent. Okay. Okay. I don't think it does, but okay. Well, I was going to say, like, it always <laughs> leaves me one, with one question. Where? <laughs> does it? Or where? Yeah. Britain's Got Talent. Where? It's not on, the sh not on the show. Show me. I want to see it. Isn't it the show that wants an, an actual dog one for jumping over things? I know. And do you know what? I don't want to knock people, but come on. Uh, there's like there's, of all the things you can do in the world, and you know what? I come from a, a realm where you have to be talented at absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. These judges mm -hmm. wouldn't know talent if it bit them on the backside. I think they know what sells well. They do know what sells well. I will give it that. Like one of my friends mm -hmm. recently auditioned for it, um, and apparently, and I've seen this act, and this act is incredible. Okay, and the room was silent. Right. I think it's you know, I don't I don't want to be disparaging but. of the nation, but you wouldn't know talent if it bit you on the. <laughs> it's just very upsetting to me. But yeah. I think the main thing we need to talk about is actually the fact that Bruno is now mm. going to be the new judge. Okay, there he is. He's bounced back after Strictly. Then he has bounced back, hasn't he? He might need his eyes doing. I think he needs some work doing. He's a bit of a freshen up, I believe the phrase is. I love a freshen up. <laughs> I'm actually due one now. All right. I know. So, so apparently he's going to be replacing David Williams on Britain's Got Talent. OK. Have you got any thoughts on it? It's just someone's going to be stood up a lot more. Yeah. That's all they ever did, stand up and go, rah, darling, yeah. rah, rah, rah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I will say at least this is actually kind of actual maybe representation of our community on the show. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, yeah, I, I'm really stretching here to yeah, try and find something to be excited about. He's got a very pink jacket on. Yes. That's about as excited as I am about that. Exactly, yeah. Shall we move on? Let's is, move there, on. is there anything to say? Or, I mean, I mean, if you really, really want to know, viewers, David Williams sent him a text and a nice bottle of wine. Isn't that nice? Shall we move on? Yeah, let's move right, on. Right, let's go. Didn't send me a bottle, I don't care. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that is a shame. Mm -hmm. Our next article, this is a shame. Okay. This is about a celebrity uh -huh. who is no longer a sex symbol, allegedly. If, if In the, their own words, not mine. If the next phrase that comes out of your mouth is Chris Hemsworth, I'm walking off. It's not Chris okay. Hemsworth. Have you got any ideas who it could be? No longer a set of symbols. No Edmonds. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody out there who's having a little downstairs tickle over Noel. I'll be concerned if Blobby's there too, but... That's how, that's how you get Noel, isn't it, Blobby? Well, apparently, well, I know for a fact there's a suit, an original Blobby suit going on eBay at the moment, and the bidding's up to about eight grand. That's somebody with a very specific fetish. That's a very specific fetish, isn't it? There's going to be some new holes in Blobby soon. I don't think they're new. I think they're already I think there's going to be some new blobs on Blobby soon. <laughs> <laughs> Dry Kitlin only, Bill. <laughs> well, we're actually talking mm -hmm. about Joe Wicks. OK. Um, the so, person that got my body through lockdown. He didn't. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. 
Well, Good apparently, question. he's no longer a sex symbol, and apparently having a bit of a belly instead of a six-pack won't get me down. OK. OK. A, a bit of a belly. A bit of a belly. He's just not airbrushed, that one. Look, I'm sorry. If you look here, exhibit A, that there is a cum gutter. It is. And I'm going to tell you here on and here and now, if you've got a cum gutter, you haven't got a belly. You're doing just fine. Yeah. And what I'm liking is the fact he's, you know, got a plastic bag on the, the door handle. Oh, there is a plastic bag on the door handle. Because, yeah, that's, that's classy, that. Maybe that's for all the snacks. Oh, no, you'd have them on the bed, surely. That's him just sticking his stomach out. I'm sorry. It is. I mean, you could, yeah, he's put, like, a minimal amount of weight on. You can see in his face he's got a minimal amount of weight on yeah. him. He's perfectly healthy. Not, I mean, and even then, like, we're not judging health by how big or small you are, but you can't sit there going, oh, I'm no longer a sex symbol. Yeah. I mean, I would you do. still shag him? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's not really, he's not really my vibe. I believe, I believe that's called a little bit of a cushion for the pushing. Yeah, that is a bit of cushion for the pushing, but um, we can't see the cushion to push, so... No, that's... Have, <laughs> we got, have we got any pictures of that? No, OK. We're, we're getting the word no, but a lot of heavy breathing from the gallery. Um, pull your pants up in the gallery, come on. And that's all from the showbiz this week. Oh, thank you very much. If we get those pictures to my phone, that would be greatly appreciated. But stick around, because coming up next, we have our Game of the Week. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play Lazy Susan's Question Roulette. And this one is for the ever fabulous Narcissa. So off you skedaddle. Fine, I've had Bobby enough team. of you anyway. I don't I'm off. It. Get me out of here. Game of the Week. So this week we're going to play Lazy Susan's Musical Roulette. And what Narcissa is going to do is spin the Lazy Susan, pick out a card and ask me a question and I'm going to get it right. Possibly, maybe. Are you ready, Narcissa? I was born ready, but I've got a question for you about uh, this late. Can you remember the last time you were on a Lazy Susan? Lazy Susan? A couple of days ago, actually. How was that for you? I got very dizzy very quickly. Yeah. Well, the rugby team had a great time. Oh, good for them. Good yeah. for them. <laughs> so would you like to spin and ask me a question? OK, let's give it a whirl, shall we? Let's give it a good, a good spin. Oh, so the question's about rock and pop. OK. So is that about stones and fizzy drinks? Yes, this is a geology question. OK, good. Oh, OK. So, according to the Mark Ronson and Miley Cyrus hit song from 2018, nothing breaks like what? <laughs> uh, I'm an... Oh, my God. <laughs> that was much better than the one I had in my head, which was wind. OK, yes, wind. Nothing breaks like wind. That's also an option. <laughs> I like yours better. I feel like, really, we pro I, I would have expected it the other way around, but, uh, considering what I do, but I'm going to take that one for my next show. Thank you. <laughs> like, so, basically, I'm just giving you material. OK, that's fine, that's fine. Um, Every day is a school day. <laughs> um, I would say nothing breaks... Like a heart? It is. Nothing breaks like a heart. Yes. I just had to go through lots of different body parts first. Ah, <laughs> we got it. Are you ready for another one? I am indeed. OK, let's spin the wheel. I've always wanted to do that. It's a 90s question. Oh, but how would I know them? Because I've not been born in the 90s. OK, sure. I wasn't born in the 90s, I was born in the 80s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I won't tell you when I was born. I don't, oh, no. I want one from the, from the middle. Let's have that one. Massaging the questions. Oh, no, I don't like that one. That's going. I don't want it. Let's have another little... What's that one? Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. No, that's too easy. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't like that one either. <laughs> or that one. Right, I'm gonna find a good one because these are just, eh. I thought that was the 80s, wow. Okay, are you ready for a 90s question? I am indeed. Lovely. So, on which whole album does the song Doll Parts appear? Whole album? Yeah. That's about a hole, or for a hole, or into a hole. I mean, it could be all of the above. Just a hole, sir. There's a reference. There's a reference. There's a reference. And the only reason I picked this one is because it had the word hole in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was the question again? I'm focused on the hole. On which? <laughs> I mean, look, if you're not <laughs> focused on the hole, you're doing something wrong. Exactly. Right. On which whole album does the song Doll Parts appear? From the 90s. From the 90s, yes. So I'm going to say whole album. That's generally what a 90s question would be from. Okay. I've just ripped it. Just at my age, it's got to make sure. Um, <laughs> whole album, Doll Parts, 90s. Yes. The Verve. Oh, right. Okay, I'm sorry, I should have clarified. So whole are a band. Oh, okay. Whole are the that. band. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not the Verve. Although there was a Verve question before and I was like, I don't like that one. We're gonna we're gonna go and pick one about a whole. Oh, okay. Yeah, so whole as in whole Co is the name Courtney of the Love's band. band. Oh no idea. Okay, should we should we pick another one and move no, on? I'll just get it wrong, it's fine. What was the answer? Um, live through this. Oh. That's a shame because Kurt didn't. But never mind. Did she? Yeah, she's still going. Is she still going? Yeah, she pops up on RuPaul every now and again. Oh, does, does RuPaul know? She's just like gate crash. No, she's definitely like RuPaul's very much aware of it. I don't know if Courtney's aware of it. <laughs> I don't know if she's there of, of her own volition or, you know, whether they let her out of the cage and then put her back in it at the end. We just don't know. Like Chandler. Okay. Right. Okay. Should we get another question? Yes. Then? Are you ready for another one? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Perfect. Let's give it a spin. I'm going to go the other way this time, see if I can do it. Oh, ambidextrous, I believe that's being called. Well, being left-handed, sometimes you have to learn how to... Soundtracks. Okay. Right, let's dive on in. I'm going to get right, split them down the middle. That's another what I love to do over Saturday. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. We'll go with this one. Why not? Okay, so science fiction double feature is the opening song from which movie? Not Titanic. It's definitely not Titanic. Not beaches. It's not beaches. <laughs> <laughs> Although I just realised what, what, what movie it's from and that would make a brilliant version of beaches. Um, is it from Rocky Horror Picture Show? Correct. Ding, 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 ding. Yay. Yes, it is. Song, which, it's got songs about masturbation in it, which I love. I love that. I love that touch. We're going to give it another spin. Right, I'm going to go back this way because it's more natural being a left-handed person. Oh, soundtracks again. Oh. Let's see if we can get something else. What What can we... Oh, God. Here we go. Which musician sang Let It Go in Frozen? See, I don't know that. I only know the, the rude version, which is <laughs> all, rather let it go. <laughs> oh, it all, don't give a shit anymore. Um, oh. See, one of my good friends over in Gran Canaria, Bonnie Ann Clyde, she does a fantastic version of Let It Go, where she's, it's the most old school fab humour, where she just puts farts and tummy rumbles throughout the entire song. <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh, I, I like that idea. Um, Do you need a clue? I, I can kind of remember the name but I always get it confused with a World War II criminal. Oh, wow. I get very concerned about saying yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we, we, could, we could just move on. We could do another question. We don't want to talk about war criminals what, What's today. the answer? Idina Menzel. Yeah, I, I do always say the surname. The icon, yeah. defying gravity. That's her? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the one. That's, that's the, the one. badger. That's the one, not the one that I'm thinking of. Not no, the, not, not the Nazi <laughs> war criminal. No. It's not the time. No, or the place. No, not the place. Shall we, we spin again? Those cards, aren't you? <laughs> let's, see, let's see what else we've got. 
Come on, Susan, don't be lazy. Oh, I've got to hum that tune. Mm. I, sh I didn't do my vocal warm-ups today. <laughs> I was going to say, that doesn't look like a vocal warm-up. It looks like you're on a date warm-up. Um, I know I spend my life working on the stage and with music and things, but I'm very much one of those people, like, if it's not Eartha Kit, I won't know it. OK. Yeah. You know, because I work, in, you know, locally in Manchester, and I'm often found like dancing in the corner, singing "You Wanna Take Me Cruising" <laughs> on an open liner, <laughs> the places I long to see. And everyone is like, "Who's the old lady in the corner? Why is she still out?" <laughs> oh, okay, right. I, uh, now I know this song because my good friend Barb, who I work with at Cruise 101, does this. I would say give or take every other week. Okay. <laughs> she has a repertoire of about three numbers. Okay. And this is one of them. <clears throat> um, would you like it specifically as a hum, or would you like a da 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 da? You can do da 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 da. I'm going to da 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 because I think my hum won't go very far. You see, okay. I've not vocally warmed up enough for that. Okay. <clears throat> no time for scales today. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. It was, yeah, it was party in the USA. Oh, party, okay. Yeah, what did you say? Dogging. Dogging in the USA. That's a different kind of party, that. It is a very specific kind of party. That's a very specific kind of party. Right, well, that's enough of that, because coming up after this break, we have Spotlight. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to ask some questions that you should never ask a drag queen in Spotlight. So, what question should we never ask a drag queen? Never ask us our government names and never ask if we pay tax. I know the answer to one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I do, just to say I actually do. It's government name I was going for, but oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, we've alluded to the fact that you may or may not do gigs. I may or may not do gigs. May or may not do gigs. So, so tell us a little bit about you. Where could we see you? What, what do you do? Well, what do I do? I, there's a whole manner of things. I generally say if there's a paycheck and you ask me a question, I will always say yes. OK. So, generally speaking, you can find me all over the place. So, for those of you that don't know me, I am Narcissa Nightshade. If you haven't clocked on by now, and if you haven't, why haven't you? So you can find me in all manner of different places. Okay. Uh, you can find me, I mean, very, I'm very widespread in Manchester. Oh, OK. Or I've spread heard. wide, yes. whichever you prefer. Same thing, I think. <laughs> well, I, like I say, as long as there's a paycheck, I'm there. So you can find me in all manner of places across Manchester. I mean, I've been around now for, ooh, about 10 years. OK. So, yeah, this is, I've literally been here in December. I celebrated my 10th anniversary in Manchester. Um, this will be also later this year will be my 10th year working professionally in drag. Okay. Although I Red celebrated Red. my 15th birthday in drag last Saturday unexpectedly, not realising I'd been doing drag for quite that long. <laughs> was it one of those moments of going, oh no. Yeah. yeah. It was, it's very much led me down this path of, you're still doing this? <laughs> still here? You're still, you know, throwing on some clobber and a bit of slap? getting yourself out there, having a good time. And there's all the kids around you now in their human hair wigs and they haven't eaten in years. <laughs> and, you know, they're throwing themselves on the floor and you go, well, I definitely couldn't do that, not even back in my day. Because <laughs> so, you could throw yourself on the floor, but getting up is a different thing. Yeah, yeah, it's very much a different thing. It's more now that I fall over because of my hip. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting off topic. So you can find me uh, all sorts of different places. Um, I work for Albert Schloss very regularly. Okay. I've just done their new um, their new venue in Liverpool. Uh, I work for Cruise 101 semi-regularly. Semi-regularly. Emphasis on semi. Yes. Yes. Um, that's, that's a nightclub in Manchester. It's an iconic nightclub in Manchester. We celebrated 30 years of um, Cruise 101 last year. Wow. Coincidentally, on the 30th birthday of my very good friend, Danny Beard. 
okay. shameless name drop there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Also, telling everyone that Danny Beard's 30 was brave. I know, because <laughs> everyone thinks she's 45. <laughs> Yeah, um, you will find me in all manner of different places. If, like I said, if there's a paycheck, I'm very much there. Oh, I'm always. Oh, I do do the Richmond Tea Rooms quite a lot. Okay. We love the Richmond Tea Rooms mm -hmm. um, because I like doing the Mad Hatter's tea parties. And nice. I know I look like the Queen, but I'm actually the Mad Hatter. Go figure. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you can find me there. You can find me at Cottonopolis. Sometimes you'll find me supporting some of those lovely, lucky girls that have been on the television. Okay. You know, doing a few of those shows. Um, largely, I'm a lip sync artist, um, but I am learning to sing okay. at nice. the moment. Yeah, it's a good thing to add. I'm writing my own one woman show. Oh. I am, yeah. I can't tell, talk about that yet. Okay, when, when are we expecting that to be out and about? I'm hoping later on this year. I, I've wanted to do it for a really, really long time because people want to know who the Enigma is. Who is Narcissa Nightshade? Why is she in the corner of the club singing Eartha Kit? <laughs> Why isn't she down with the kids? It's because I'm getting on a bit now, OK? It's, it's, it's from a different time and a different place. But, um, yeah, I write comedy. Um, I've written some jokes that may or may not have appeared on the television. I can't talk about that, but you know, NDAs. Um, yeah, I've done I've done all sorts of different things. So I've kind of just been going round and round, and you know, I'm always like very much. I don't know if you're getting the vibe, but she's very much. I'm that star. I'm still gonna make it. Mm -hmm. That's very much true to my actual life. Like, yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah, that that's a little bit about me. If you think very like Norma Desmond, Sunset Boulevard. It's very me. There's a lot of people Googling that right now. I know. I, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe when Glenn Close actually gets round to making the film version, people, people will know what it, it is. Yeah. Because, she, uh, in my opinion, controversial, she is the best, best Norma Desmond. Okay. I'm not going to say anything at that point. Apart from, I'm going to whip out my jar of joy. Oh, I wonder what you were going to say. Yeah, you got, it said whip, whip out and went, oh. And it's like, whip out. The Jar of Joy. The which Jar is of this, Joy. This fabulous little creation. Oh, that's fun. Yes. Oh, you could get. You could do yourself a mischief with the lid, couldn't you? You, you, you can, and, oh, and thankfully it wipes clean afterwards. Oh, good. Good to know. Yes. Um, so I'm just going to pop it down here. There you go. But in here we have some questions. Okay. Okay. The deep philosophical questions. Okay. Okay. Um, the real meanings of life. Real meanings of life. Okay. Um, how much wood a woodchuck would chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, but would you prefer to burp confetti or fart glitter? Oh, fart glitter, but I pretty much do that anyway. It does get everywhere. It Literally, I kid you not, as part of my day-to-day -day life, you know, like it's got to a point now where I'm picking up the laundry to do it. I still do my own laundry. <laughs> and, you know, you will pick up a pair of underpants and glitter will literally fly mm -hmm. quite, like out of it. It will be everywhere. So I'd say that one because I already kind of do it. Cool. Um, I once did a glitter beard, which oh. was great fun, but let's say I had a very heavy exfoliant. Yes. in Because I decided to get rid of it in the shower. Yeah. No. 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 Not no. that one. No. I no. think the best way, if I remember rightly, is to do it with tape. Okay, I just went in the shower and realised it was a mistake and I drank a big bottle of gin. Tape. Nah, take the pain away. Yeah. Um, okay, shall we get another question out? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, and this one. Would you prefer to be amazing at playing an instrument, but only while you're naked, or speak any language, but only if you close your eyes and dance? Well, look, if I, I'm going to tell you now, if I am ever playing an instrument, I'm always naked. Okay. So We're uh, not talking skin flute. Oh, right, okay, no skin flutes today. Yeah. What, so what are the... What so, was the other option? So, um, play... Music instrument naked or speak any language, but if you close your eyes and dance? Uh, I would... I would speak the languages, but close my eyes and dance. Okay. Because, you know, it's really important sometimes, like, I hate that... It's one of the things I hate the most about British culture is the fact that we absolutely reject <laughs> trying to learn other languages because it's just not part of our culture. Um, but what we can do is speak very loudly very loudly yes. <laughs> and then pick up one phrase and then expect lots of praise for it. Yeah, like voulez vous coucher à Fegua. That's it. So yeah. French you need. Uh-huh. Yeah. Although I did get an A in French at GCSE. Oh, I can't cool. speak any of it now. I, I didn't. 
couldn't do French. I, of I often find that skills, if you don't l use them, you will lose them. Especially oral skills. Especially oral skills. So make sure to um, keep brushed up on that. Yeah, keep practising your oral mm -hmm. skills, because the last thing you want to do is not be able to get your mouth around to French again. Exactly. And who doesn't love a French? <laughs> Let's get another question out. Go on, dig deep. I need to know if I could just get my hand in. Yeah, very popular. Um, would you prefer... We've had that one before. See, now, if, if we were doing tarot cards, that would mean something. Yeah, that would picked up the same card. Um, would you prefer to have the ability to control people or control animals? Um, I mean, technically, can we not already do both? Because I mean, it generally is part. Deep, deep version I mean, of it's part of it's part of my job. Mm -hmm. It is really like really we do already manipulate and tell people what to do. Mm -hmm. Get off the stage. Don't touch my drink. Get me a vodka. Get me a vodka. You know, I often find the power of a wig is unparalleled. Mm -hmm. I honestly think I could walk into Ten Downing Street and say, right, this is what we're going to do. They do it because I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> I think we should try that theory we out. We could try out that theory, but then I've seen some terrible wigs at, at uh, the Houses of Parliament, so... <laughs> I was going to say, Anne Widdicombe. Oh, it's, it's a shame, isn't it's, it? Yeah. It's a shame, isn't it? But then again, she's not very drag queen friendly, is she? She's not, but I think that shows by the wigs that she wears. I know. <laughs> well, that's, uh, it's a shame. Be a friend of the gays. Just be a friend of the gays. You get your hair sorted. Um, lovely. So... So I think we've got to know you quite well there mm -hmm. to get to inner workings of your mind. Yes. So if people wanted to find you on social media, where would they go? Okay, so I did this thing that all the kids are doing called streamlining. Okay. And now you can find me on, I say all platforms, you can find me on all platforms at, at, that'll probably be backwards, but at Real Night Shady. And you might be thinking... Why, why, why Real Night Shady? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Because most people can't spell Narcissa. It's so a tricky one. It's a tricky one. N-A-R-C-I-S-S-A. -S -S Nightshade. But trying to spell that to people when they've had a few drinks is difficult. Mm -hmm. So I went with Real Night Shady because with the Real Night Shady, please stand up. And then people remember. They do, yeah, it works. They do, it works it a works. treat. All, but it. yeah, you can find me on, oh gosh, Instagram... Twitter, I've even got a TikTok. I haven't used it. I don't know. I'm, I keep saying I'm going to try, but I just don't know what I do with it. Feels a bit advanced for me that. As it's just basic. Do you re do you remember Vine? I do remember Vine. It's all TikTok is. It's Vine. I smell like beef. That's all I remember. That's all I remember. That but that that was you know Vine. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media. At the Cud TV. Our website is cud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. 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 Oh, yeah.